Picture this. You buy a brand new truck that earns strong marks for driver protection in a frontal crash, but run the exact same test on the passenger side, and the results are startling. The structure gives way, the dummy's legs take heavy impacts, and the safety rating plummets by two whole levels. This isn't an old model from a decade ago. It's the current Chevy Silverado you can walk into a dealership and buy today. What we're seeing here is one of the most eye-opening asymmetries in modern vehicle safety. For years, certain vehicles have delivered significantly better protection on the driver's side than on the passenger's. We're diving deep into the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety's small overlap crash test, and specifically why some vehicles still deliver dramatically inferior protection on the passenger side than the driver's side. To understand the full picture, let's rewind to 2012. When the small overlap test was introduced that year, it caught most automakers off guard. Early results were dismal. Many vehicles suffered severe structural intrusion on the driver's side. In response, manufacturers moved quickly. They reinforced front structures, added stronger side sills, redesigned bumper beams, and implemented energy-absorbing countermeasures to better protect occupants. The transformation was dramatic. Take Mercedes-Benz, for example. The 2012 C-Class performed poorly in the test, but by 2015, the redesigned model earned top marks thanks to extensive structural upgrades. It seemed like this issue was resolved, and automobiles had forever become safer. Until it was discovered that some automakers were only making these improvements on the driver's side of the vehicle, the passenger side was frequently neglected, leaving occupants there far more vulnerable. To close this loophole, a passenger small overlap test was quickly introduced to detect this disparity. The results exposed stark asymmetries in numerous models. We can see this exact scenario with the Silverado. Going from the previous generation to the current one, there is significant improvement in the performance on the driver's side. However, the passenger side still suffers major intrusion often penetrating deep into the footwell. The 2015 Toyota RAV4 offers an even clearer example. With structural components highlighted, the asymmetry is obvious. A critical longitudinal member present on the driver's side is simply absent on the passenger side. In the test, the passenger compartment collapsed catastrophically, up to 40 centimeters of intrusion in the lower compartment. Look how much less survival space there is on the passenger side. Worse, the passenger door sprung open during the crash, creating a serious risk of partial or full ejection. The 2015 Subaru Forester is less extreme but still troubling. Passenger side intrusion is significantly greater than on the driver's side, shrinking survival space and elevating injury risk for anyone seated there. These aren't just test anomalies in the lab, they lead to human suffering in the real world. This 2008 Mazda 3 veered off the road and crashed into a tree, striking the passenger side at small overlap angle. The passenger sustained a broken femur, tibia, jaw, and nose. Despite representing only 10 to 12% of all crashes, small overlap collisions cause roughly one quarter of serious injuries and fatalities to belted front occupants. When a passenger is present, they are disproportionately likely to die, largely because their side of the vehicle has historically received far less structural protection. Partially deformed or open doors dramatically raise the risk of partial or full ejection. Severe intrusion routinely can lead to devastating leg, ankle, hip, and pelvic fractures. Once the disappointing passenger side results went public, most automakers started to make improvements. They rapidly redesigned front structures to be fully symmetrical and equally robust on both sides. Today, nearly every vehicle tested earns a good rating in the small overlap test, driver and passenger alike. Toyota provides a perfect example. After the 2015 RAV4's alarming asymmetry and catastrophic passenger side collapse, the redesigned 2019 model delivered strong balanced performance on both sides, with dramatically reduced intrusion across the board. But there are stubborn holdouts. Beyond the Chevy Silverado, here are the current production vehicles you can walk into a dealership and buy today that still have at least one full rating step worse on the passenger side. 
In the Chevy Tahoe, the driver's side earns a good rating with strong structural integrity, but the passenger side drops to acceptable with 32 centimeters of peak footwell intrusion that poses a high risk of right foot injury and moderate risk to the left lower leg. In the Chevy Blazer EV, Honda Prologue, and Honda Ridgeline, the passenger dummy nearly missed the airbag, leaving the head vulnerable as it entered a gap in coverage between the front and curtain airbags. The Volkswagen Taos exhibited concerning structural integrity on the passenger side, with up to 15 centimeters of intrusion in both the lower and upper compartments. Such performance is disappointing, especially for a relatively new vehicle design. The Ford Expedition has equally bad performance on both sides of the vehicle. On the passenger side, the Expedition's structure completely failed. Look how dramatic the collapse is. The A-pillar separated from the rest of the structure. Intrusion exceeded 50 centimeters, an extremely poor showing. This not only increases the risk of injuries in the Expedition, but leaves very little survival space for the occupants. Fortunately, these laggards represent only a minority of new vehicles. Here's a look at several models that have undergone dramatic improvements. The previous generation Jeep Grand Cherokee performed poorly, with structural intrusion reaching 26 centimeters. Worse, the door opened, partially ejecting the dummy from the cabin. The redesigned model fully addressed these critical failures. The prior Ford Escape suffered heavy intrusion and allowed the passenger dummy's head to nearly roll off the airbag while the curtain airbag failed to deploy. The current version isn't flawless, but it marks a substantial upgrade. The last Toyota Sienna endured catastrophic structural collapse with peak intrusion of 51 centimeters, leading to moderate injury risk to the right hip and lower leg. The latest generation delivers a complete reversal, excelling across every aspect of the test. The 2018 Chrysler Pacifica fared better than the Sienna but still showed concerning intrusion, particularly lower in the compartment. This is not a comfortable amount of survival space. For 2020, Chrysler reinforced the passenger side front door hinge pillar, A pillar, and door sill, completely resolving the issues. The passenger side small overlap test has proven remarkably effective, forcing nearly the entire industry to design equal protection for both front seats. Yet as long as bestsellers like the Silverado and Sierra continue shortchanging the right side in 2025, the job remains unfinished. Up next, we look at SUVs and trucks that failed their crash test. Thanks for watching.